Dive the Holland Five with the Nautical Archaeology Society. Supported by Historic England. On the top of the hull, at the stern of the submarine, is the exhaust box. John Holland's engineer's schematic drawings clearly show the exhaust box and the four exhaust pipes leading to the box. The exhaust box from the wreck of the Holland No. 1, now on display at the Royal Navy Submarine Museum in Gosport, was missing its cover when it was raised. From archive images of the Holland No. 5 exhaust box from back in 2005, we can see it was covered by a mass of fishing ropes and cables. Thanks to the efforts of visiting divers, the exhaust box is now clear of fishing rope and has become a haven for marine life. The protective hydrodynamic casing has now perished, leaving the exhaust box exposed on the upper hull. The engineer schematic drawings show the port side pipe on the left side was outside the upper casing for some part of its length. In a photograph of the Holland No. 5 beached in 1910, the port side pipe is visible outside the casing. In the photograph, the pipe quickly returns under the casing disappearing from view to be more hydrodynamic when the submarine was travelling underwater. The open tube joints of the four pipes have again become homes for marine life.